Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be an empties video. So I did one of these videos on my channel probably six or eight months ago. It's been a while now. I honestly don't remember when I did one. It's probably been more than eight months ago. I don't know. This is going to be some products that I used up over the last eight months or so. I do not have everything here that I've used up over the last eight months because that would be ridiculous. But I am going to be sharing with you guys some of the products that we have used up in our household over the last couple of months. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these type of videos. If you do, give them a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel and let's just go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to get the big boys out of the way first because... Probably not a lot of people really care, but we did use up more than one of each of these, but we got a new washing machine probably three months ago now. Quarantine has made me lose track of time, so it could have been more than three months, but my mom and dad's dryer went out, and so they bought a brand new set, and we got their old washing machine, and nothing was wrong with our current washing machine, but I just did not like that it didn't take fabric softener. I know that a lot of them just, you just put them like right in the center. Ours didn't even have that. Ours didn't have a little place for you to put it in. I know a lot of people just dump their fabric softener over their clothes, but I've also heard that if you use a certain type of fabric softener, then it will stain your clothes. Anyway, we got a new washing machine and it takes fabric softener. So I've been buying fabric softener. So this is what my mom used to buy when I lived at home and I guess I've just continued to buy it just because I like the smell of it and it kind of reminds me of home in a weird way. This is the Gain fabric softener. This is just the original kind. Um, we went through an entire bottle of this and I just repurchased a new bottle. And yeah, this is my favorite. It makes the clothes smell really nice and keeps the clothes really soft. Then we went through this big boy. This, this is the Purex Dirt Lift Action. Uh, concentrated detergent. I like this brand a lot. A girl that I work with actually told me about this because I was using Gain and I just was thinking how expensive it was and I was just tired of paying a hefty price to wash my clothes. So I found this um, on her recommendation. I actually found it at my local IGA and it was I think it was like three or four dollars I want to say and this is 150 ounces. So it says you're supposed to be able to get 115 loads out of it. And I feel like we got 115 plus loads out of this. This stuff smells really, really good. This is in the scent Mountain Breeze. This has a very fresh smell. It also smells like when you were a kid, if your parents, if you live in the South especially, if your parents ever hung out laundry on the line after they had put like bleach in it or just left laundry out, um, on the line without the bleach. This is what it smells like and I love that smell. I've always loved that smell as a kid. I love that smell. So it reminds me of that but this is also very cheap and it does a really good job but yes I need to stop talking about laundry detergent because now that I'm an adult it kind of excites me but I'm sure that I have people watching me who don't care at all whatsoever. All right so the next things I have here and I just dropped one in the floor. This is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. So I have three empty bottles here. I have one in light. So I had one in light glow. Then I have two in tan glow. I honestly kind of like the tan glow better for my undertone. I find it is not as orange as the light glow, even though the light glow does kind of make the tan look more natural. This just matches my undertone better. So if you've never heard of this before, this is like makeup for your legs that you spray on, you rub in, it kind of masks the imperfections on your legs. So if you have like bruises or I don't really see it doing a whole lot for cellulite, but I think a lot of people think that it does. So if you're interested in something like that, I just liked to use it because I like to have a little bit of color on my legs when I wear shorts or I wear a dress and I am so pale that it is hard for me to get like a natural tan and I don't use like self tanner every single day. So this stuff works really, really nicely and I did go through three bottles of these. Okay, so I don't know where the top to this went, but this is the Bath and Body Works Christmas Cookie Shower Gel. This stuff I got at Christmas time and it smells so good. Mm, you can still smell it. This is probably my favorite scent um, from Bath and Body Works ever. So this says that it's creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel wood. And it just, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It would remind you of a vanilla cookie from Great American Cookie. I guess. 
Yeah, it smells like a great American cookie. I really hope that they come out with more of the scent this Christmas because I really want to pick up the lotion again because I had some lotion and I'm almost through with it. Yeah, Bath & Body Works shower gel, really, really good. Okay, again, I don't know where the top went to this, but this is the Dove Deep Moisture Skin Natural Nourishers Instantly Soft Skin Nourishing Body Wash. That's a long name. My husband has problems with dry skin, so I bought him this just to see if it would help him a little bit, and he likes to wash his face in the shower, which told him multiple times that he does not need to be doing but he continues to do it anyway so I bought him this to see if it would help with his dryness and I actually just purchased a bigger size of this because he ended up liking it a lot it lathers really really well and you don't have to use a whole lot of it which I like because my husband gets really really dirty at work so he has to use a nice body wash to get him really clean and I find that I'm buying body wash so often because he has to use so much to get clean after our day's work so I really like that you don't have to use a lot of this and it smells pretty good and it is very moisturizing I do use it too and I really like the way that it makes my skin feel after I get out of the shower okay so then I have this simple sensitive skin micellar cleansing water this is supposed to hydrate and gently remove makeup so i bought this at tj maxx i saw the sticker on it that says 4.99 so i use the garnier micellar water that is probably honestly my favorite just because it is pretty readily available this one didn't really do anything different from the Garnier. It was a little bit more hydrating. My skin didn't feel as dry after I got done using it. I really just use this to remove excess makeup after I double cleanse. I'll go in with this and kind of use it around my hairline or just on like some stubborn spots on my face. There's nothing really special about it, but I do use micellar water and I would recommend this if you're looking for one, but the Garnier one is definitely my favorite. So I have a couple of Pixi products here. So I'll start with my first one. This is the Pixi Glow Mud Cleanser. This has glycolic acid and aloe vera in it. So obviously you can see I really, really, really liked this product. So what I would use this product for is after I have taken my makeup off initially with like a makeup eraser or um, like a cleansing balm or cleansing oil, I would go in with this and use this as my second cleanser. And I really, really like this because when you take your makeup off with those kind of things, especially like a makeup eraser, it tends to make your face feel really stripped. And a lot of cleansers that I've used in the past also make my face feel really, really stripped after I've used them. But this does not do this. So this is like a mud, which kind of scared me at first because hearing the word mud makes you think of like something that's going to dry your skin out that might have like charcoal in it. Let me see if I can get a little bit of this out. I don't think I'm going to be able to. If you can see there, it's got like a tan kind of tint to it. It is a very soft cleanser and it does not foam so I think that's why it does not make me feel like my skin is super duper dry after I use it because it doesn't foam. Usually a cleansing balm can get most of the stuff off but I always like to double cleanse so this is a little bit more expensive. I think this is $24 and Pixi is a supposed to be a drugstore brand and that is pretty pricey for a drugstore brand so I wish that I could find something at Walmart that was half of this price or even more than half. I would highly recommend it if you have dry skin and you're looking for something that does not dry your skin out after you cleanse it. So the next Pixi product I have here is their Glow Tonic. So, and this is kind of hard to see. I do have a little bit left. I just wanted to include this because I will be done with this very, very soon. So a Glow Tonic is supposed to, or at least a tonic in general, is supposed to exfoliate your face and brighten your face. And I feel like that this did this, especially in the winter time. I was trying products to make my skin not be as dry simply because I had very very dry skin over the winter time um, like flaking my lips were super dry my hands were super dry and using a ton of hand sanitizer now isn't making my hands feel any less dry I was using this product to try to see if I could exfoliate some of that dry skin and also make my face really glowy so this in conjunction with the glow mud also with the glow tonic serum those products make your face so glowy and healthy, especially overnight. Almost to the point where you feel kind of oily when you wake up, which is fine with me. I would use this again. I would repurchase this again, but again, it's really expensive. I think this little bottle here that only has three ounces in it is $20, maybe close to it, 18 maybe. And it's not really a step that I just have to have, but it is something that I use when I feel like my face is just 
overly dry and dull and I'm going to use the rest of it up but I'm not sure if I would repurchase it just because it is a little bit on the pricey side. Okay so the next product I have is also a product that I got from Influencer and if you saw my last video I'll link it up here. I talked about three products that I got from Influencer and this is a product that I have gotten from them before as well. So this is the DPQ ACV Apple Cider Vinegar Hair Mask. So this hair mask is supposed to deep condition um, that and have proteins in it that target damaged areas. So it's supposed to have um, fatty acid rich rose hip, avocado and coconut oils, sunflower seed extract to protect your color and vitamin B5 to help strengthen the hair. I love the smell of this. This smells like a really nice men's cologne. I really can't tell you what the fragrance is and it doesn't have the notes on here. I feel like this did not do anything for my hair. So when I first started using it, I kind of felt like maybe it was doing something for my hair, but after trying the L'Oreal LV mask, I know that there's, this is doing nothing for my hair except for maybe making it a little bit stronger, but even then, I really don't know if it did anything. And um, this DP Hue brand is sold at Sephora and maybe at Ulta, I'm not sure. But this hair mask is expensive. I think it's like $35 or $36 and there's no way I would pay the price for this because it is not doing anything for my hair that I can tell. So I would not recommend you buying this and I would tell you to buy the L'Oreal LV if you are trying to moisturize your hair really well. Okay, so the next thing I have here is the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. So I do have just a little bit of this left, not much. So this smells so good. It's, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like cotton candy, but this only has one fluid ounce in it. And I think this is $28. I had a friend that is a cosmetologist and she was able to get it for me for $14, which is a better price for this. But this is such an awesome product. I really want to repurchase this, but it is so expensive for such a tiny bottle. You can see it's like very, very small. This is an awesome product for coming out of the shower and you don't want to put a very, very rich oil on your hair, but you want something that's kind of thin that will also help you detangle your hair, which will also protect the ends of your hair. You can also use this if you're about to blow dry your hair or you are just refreshing your hair with a curling iron or you're about to curl your hair. I used it on my ends this morning and I just feel like my ends are so shiny and smooth and healthy and I used it on dry hair. So you can use this on dry hair or wet hair. It's supposed to to bond your ends of your hair to not have so many split ends so I stopped using this for just a little while and I could totally tell the difference my hair looked so bad at the ends I was having so many split ends and I feel like this product helped a lot with that and I'm sad that it is almost gone and if you're looking for a lightweight oil you would probably really like this as well so I have a candle here this is the Bath and Body Works champagne toast this is almost completely gone. I know that you can get the wax out of here, which I actually might do because I have a wax warmer. So when I was at my brother and sister-in-law's house, my sister-in-law had this as like a room spray in her bathroom and it smelled so good and I loved it. So I looked it up on Bath and Body Works and you know Bath and Body Works candles are pretty expensive, especially their three wick candles. They're about $24.50 a piece. So I looked this up on Mercari. If you don't use Mercari, it is a selling and buying app and it is really good. But I bought this off of there and I think I bought it for $10 which it was completely full when I got it which was awesome. The fragrance notes in this is bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine with essential oils and if you like a fruity yet musky type of smell you will really like this. So I probably will get the wax out of the bottom of this and use it in my house in my wax warmer, but I would repurchase this. It smells really good. The next thing I have here is the 365 Everyday Value Apple Cider Foaming Hand Soap. So I don't know where this is from, but my sister-in-law and brother-in-law got me this or got me and my husband this for Christmas last year. And it's just okay. It's not the best. I really don't care for foaming uh, hand soaps because I feel like they don't really do very much. I feel like that the water just kind of makes it disappear. So I like like a gel formula for hand soap. So I would not repurchase this and I don't really purchase foaming hand soaps very often just because like I said, I don't think that they really do much. But this smelled pretty good and I did like it around Christmas time. Yeah, just not my favorite. So I have a couple of dry shampoos here. I have my Batiste 
my beloved Batiste dry shampoo in the tropical scent. And then I have the Colab dry shampoo in the tropical fragrance. This smells different than this one. This one has like more of an artificial tropical smell, whereas this one kind of smells like the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I find that these are pretty similar. I still like the Batiste better than the Colab one, but if I was looking for this dry shampoo and I couldn't find it, I would buy this one, which is what happened. I had to buy this one last time. They're around the same price. The Colab one is pretty good and the Batiste is my holy grail. So yeah, got these two right here. Then I have a mini Clinique Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm. I used this sucker completely up. There is absolutely nothing in there. Um, I had never used this before and I've heard people rave about it and I've heard very, very good things from it. And I tried it and it's just a normal cleansing balm. So it's not, you know, my absolute favorite thing. Um, and it is expensive, which also makes it kind of annoying, but it was a sample size and so I just bought it just to see if I liked it and it's just a cleansing balm. So I have here the Nair face cream hair remover. So this is just specifically designed for your face and I really need to find this again. I could not find this anywhere on Amazon and I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to find it in store because this is my favorite thing to take off peach fuzz with. It does burn just a little bit but I find that this takes my hair off of my face the best of anything and it stays gone longer than anything so i usually use like one of those little tinkle razors like the sharp um straight blade razors on my face i just did that this week actually because i was out of this but i find that my hair grows back a lot quicker if i use those little razors compared to this i don't know why i've used nair on my legs before you know when i was younger and wasn't able to shave i used it on my legs and it's just okay this does have the potent nair smell which i hate i wish it smelled different but i really need to find this again because this is my preferred method of taking the hair off of my face so a couple more things left i have one of my l'oreal locket bold control hairsprays i mentioned this in my last video this is one of my favorite hairsprays it's probably my favorite hairspray of all time i love the smell of it love the way that it holds my hair and i love that it kind of dries my scalp out so i can go longer without washing my hair which sounds bad but it's not i promise and it's about three bucks on amazon so i have a shampoo and conditioner here these are to my two last things this is both these are both from the l'oreal Elvive line so this is from their Elvive total repair line and this is from their extraordinary oil line i'll start with the shampoo first this is something i was looking for just to have on hand when i was not using purple shampoo on my hair so when i first started getting my hair colored pretty blonde i would use a purple shampoo almost every single time i washed my hair and obviously you know depending on the purple shampoo that you use it can dry your hair out really easily which happened to me it was using pretty cheap purple shampoos and even the joyco one that's more expensive from ulta tends to dry my hair out really easily so i was looking for something that would put the moisture back into my hair without making it feel too greasy and just an everyday shampoo that i could wash my hair with in between using purple shampoo and this did a really good job so this is supposed to uh, make your hair more healthy it's got protein in it um and it's supposed to just make your hair strong, silky, and shiny. It's just a regular shampoo to me, but it did a good job at washing my hair very well and making my hair feel clean without stripping it super bad and also making it feel moisturized without making my hair too oily. And the last thing is this conditioner. Again, this is their, from their Extraordinary Oil line. This stuff is really good. So I bought this at a kind of like a bent and dent store close to me for like $2.00 just because I needed some conditioner and I was willing to try this out. This has that flower oil in it and it's supposed to intensely shine the hair for silkiness and it specifically says it's for dry hair. And again, I'm a blonde and I have really dry hair normally anyway, especially on the bottoms. And I just found that this really repaired my hair and made it feel really silky. Again, without making it feel too oily, I could actually put this up near my roots and my hair would not feel too oily. So this is a really good conditioner and um, it's cheap from the drugstore. I know that a lot of hairdressers would yell at me and tell me not to use something so cheap, but if it works for me and it doesn't strip my color, then I really like it. So that is all of my empty products that I have used over the last couple of months. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will continue to keep my empty products over the next couple of months to show you again. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.